Okay, this type of thing you're going to do uh, more in calculus. You'll do more after the setup part, but this part gives you the foundation, and then you're going to do more with it when you actually, if you take calculus. So we're going to use right triangles to write this, this one here, in algebraic and form. Uh, algebraic form here. Uh, assume that the u that you have in here, we want, this is important, it says that u is positive and then the rest of it just says that u is basically defined and we don't have anything that's undefined or anything like that. So we're going to do this the same way we've been doing this, the problems in this section. We have to first figure out what quadrant it's going to be in and then we're going to draw our triangle and then this time we're working with variables instead of numbers. Okay, so that we have an inverse tangent that's here that says that you can draw the triangle in either quadrant number one or quadrant number four. Now, it says right here, the important thing is that your, this part has to be positive. So if I have a choice to draw the triangle in either quadrant number one or four, if this is positive, that means I need to choose the first quadrant because my all students say calculus says that everything, all of them have to be positive in the first quadrant. So I'm gonna draw it here. We're gonna, we're gonna write that as 4u divided by one. That's the, that uh, angle is measured from this x-axis here. Across from that, that's gonna be our opposite, that's 4u. Down here, it's gonna be a one. So I have, these are the two sides that I have, and I use my trig definition in order to do that. Again, opposite over adjacent was how I use that to set this up. We need to use Pythagorean theorem to figure out what the last side is, and so we do a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and we have one squared plus four u quantity squared, that's gonna equal uh, c squared. So when I work this out, I get one plus 16 u squared. Don't forget that you have to square both things inside those parentheses there. Square both of those, that equals c squared. And we have to find, we have to find the uh, hypotenuse by taking the square root of both sides. So when I take the square root of both sides, I get one plus 16u squared. That's equal to c because I took the square root of both sides. You're not allowed to square root each of these individually. So square root of one and square root of 16, you can't do those separately because you got a plus or minus sign. So anytime you have a plus or minus sign separating those, you're not allowed to simplify that further. So that means that this whole thing here is one plus 16u squared. The problem has a secant in front. So secant means we want to indicate that's going to be our hypotenuse over adjacent. If we look at our trig definitions for right triangles, that's actually where what we're going to be using here. So this one over that one uh, is what we're going to do. So if you want to write the expression, the answer for the whole problem, it's going to be 1 plus 16u squared divided by 1. But because we're dividing by 1, we don't need to show that. So therefore, answer to the whole entire problem is this. So basically we can say that this whole thing here, secant of inverse tan of 4u, that whole thing is equal to this square root, square root of 1 plus 16u squared. And this is again something that you would do more with in calculus. We, we use this for a setup and then this expression becomes more important in future things you're going to do there. So this part is only basically getting the setup. So even though there's no variables in it, we did the, exactly the same process as before. We choose the correct quadrant where the triangle goes in. We labeled our two sides from the uh, definition for inverse tangent. Pythagorean theorem, we got that, that last side there. And then finally, we just use the one on the outside to get indicate our answer. So secant again is gonna have to be the hypotenuse over adjacent.